What's up guys, this is Save Knight, and welcome back to Let's Play PsyOps for the PS2. I'm finally at the final stretch here. Uh, last episode, I... Uh, fuck it, I get it. No, that was before that. I did the excavation and classified, which is technically what this little... whatever the fuck this room is. Uh... Had to basically just wander around this, like, old dig site. Filled with freaking like level three guards, you know the ones that can't be TK'd, and some of them have rocket launchers, so that's you know super happy mega fun times. Um. Oh, and while dodging those freaking R bombs, so fuck you very much. But other than that, it was really too difficult. Um. Made my way to this something that apparently was buried within the dig site. Confronted Barrett, who's, you know, doing the whole yada yada yada. We're gonna have ultimate power, no one can stop us, blah blah. That final cutscene and stuffs. did like me best, bitch. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> Take would, care of this. Would the, would the exit hole be like a lot bigger than what it was? I mean, she was shot from behind. But it was a silenced pistol, but We still. excavated this site after we discovered the artifact in the temple. It took us years to study, to rebuild these devices in our factory on the Black Sea. The monolith. The monolith is the key. It was created to work within the unique gravitational signature of the Earth system. But over the millennia, the moon has shifted in its orbit, weakening the monolith's power. Barrett's TK amplifier will fix that. Draw! 
longer! Yeah, that must have been some fucking TK amplifying machine, because he was able to move the fucking moon. From Nya to Nya, like within seconds. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. 
He's gone? No one will ever unlock the power of the monolith again. Looks like we have help. That's no help. I remember everything now. Let's get on it. Minutes, preferred TK, item burn 10, broken 96, preferred weapon assault rifle, shots fired 164, accuracy 50, kills 29, headshots 3, explosion 3, suicide 1, suicide 1. Oh, that's right, I walked the guy into a mine. Unlocked content, cheat all powers, play more arcade mode, boss rush, skin, Nick Scryer, the general, MP1, UN soldier, lab coat, dog worker. Boss fight, Nicholas Wrightson in the general, extra mission, or pool, no matron, family reunion, you're insane, the passing of Wrightson, the struggle for power, the culmination of power, fall for power, game credits, and concept art. Yes, I shall. Ah, oh, fuck it, that's good. I need to save it anywhere. of PsyOps, the mind game conspiracy, and the dub, the e playthrough, the dub, the song that played, the vocals and whatnot. In a violent world where deception's free, things I can control, but, um, taken over yeah. me, that's fucking awesome, huh? Uh, sadly, they did not make a sequel to it. Um, you know, I don't like this part. Some lesser capacity, and they're not actually midway in That sucks. But, uh, yeah, I fucking really enjoy this game, and I think I actually said when I first started this playthrough that I found this game by accident. Just walking into a GameStop, while visiting my sister back in Texas, like, years ago. And I just saw it, and I was like, ooh, let me see what this is about, because I kind of like stuff like this. I bring it home, I play it, it's like, oh, my god. Ruin his staff at Brain Zoo? What? Love will change It's like the the team that worked on it, I suppose. So 
so yeah, that was the only thing that I that kind of pissed me off is that it, they never made a sequel to it. Back in I think 2007 or 2008, there were talks about making a movie based off the game. That didn't fucking happen either. Directed, it was supposed to be directed by someone named John Woo. I don't know who that is. I suppose he's like a famous director. I mean, I've never heard of him, but that doesn't mean he isn't famous. And uh, basically, just just based the game in movie form. And nope, nope. Stop, 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 stop. So um. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this. Um, if you want, you can start like a new game, or just pick up where you left off at, or when you actually save it, it doesn't actually, um, well, after you beat the game, it doesn't actually override a save, it just saves it at a, like a, a, a separate file that's not part of your actual save file, you can start another game. And if you saw it, it said I had skins, you can actually replay as whatever, but I'm actually going to talk about this and the extra shit in like another video. I'm going to take care of that and like other special thingies. So, until then, this is Save Night on Let's Play PsyOps. Later guys.